Okay, one more thing here. We got a few minutes. Brian Flores, we talked about this, uh, the former Miami Dolphins head coach. I know Charlie's got a hard stop here in five minutes. So he's adding the Houston Texans, a Houston Texans retaliation claim to his lawsuit against the NFL. Now, we talked about this lawsuit. It's being played, it's mostly as a racism accusation lawsuit. There are other things, actually, that, in my opinion, rule out the whole racism thing. But anyway, he's saying he was fired because he's black. Now, also in the lawsuit, he details that the owner was offering to pay him to lose games so they could get a better draft position, and he refused to do it. And then that hurt his relations with the owner, and then he got fired. Now, that means in the lawsuit, he actually detailed why he got fired. It was because he was offered to uh, be paid extra to lose games, and he refused to do it, and he didn't get as good of a draft position. Now, that's a bad thing. Mm. And he told everyone why he got fired. It's because I defied what the owner wanted me to do, okay? And anyway, now he's, he's adding the Texans to the lawsuit. Why? Because he applied for the head coaching job at the Texans, and they didn't hire him. And he is claiming that the only reason he wasn't hired is because of this whole lawsuit right here. Because okay? he's black. And they're, they're really saying that this is retaliation against him. Who did they hire? They hired Lovey Smith like one of the longest tenured black coaches out there in the NFL. Mm. And they're still adding the Texans to this lawsuit against the NFL for unfair hiring yeah. practices. Like, this is a joke. I, and I don't understand why. Like, I think he has a legitimate lawsuit when it comes to the owner paying him extra to lose games and things like that, like manipulating it, or at least some type of arbitration with the NFL as an organization, calling out his owner saying, hey, this guy's, getting me to throw games or whatever. Yeah. You know, there could be some collusion there or with some betting, right? Because of all the sports betting that's going on and to purposely lose games to do a certain thing. I mean, you know, I feel like you have maybe not a lawsuit, but at least maybe some, some type of, of contract breach between NFL owners, I would say in the NFL and what's going on mm -hmm. with what's supposed to be fair gameplay. Um, so you could, he has a legitimate case there, and that, that could have been the, the reason he was fired because he didn't listen to the owner and throwing games. Um, and I think that you do have a leg to stand on with that, Yeah, I think. It should have just gone with that, but this the, the but whole... Now, yeah, why add the racism to it and, and the Houston Texans Be, oh, and all of this stuff when the, the Houston Texans hired a black guy? Listen to how full of himself this guy is, and this is where he just starts to sound like a, a little whiny baby we'll just say that b word he's a little whiny baby right now okay he said it's obvious now they hired levy smith who has been in the league for 16 years now he was the head coach of the bears for a while he's been in a couple super bowls uh not both as a head coach but he's been in a couple couple super bowls and he says it's obvious the only reason uh, mr flores the lawyer says the only reason mr flores was not selected was his decision to stand up against racial inequity across the NFL. Now, that's a slap in the face of Lovey Smith, who was already the defensive coordinator for the Houston Texans, and people like to hire from within like that, by the way. But they're saying, Lovey, the only reason you got this job was because they don't like uh, Mr. Flores because they're mad at him right now. Not because you're a good coach or you might potentially be a good coach for this. Actually, you should join the racism lawsuit too because they didn't hire you because yeah. they like you. They hired you because they don't like me. Like it's just the the vanity of this of this whole thing is ridiculous to me. I don't know. And the biggest problem is there's racism in the U.S. There's probably racism in the NFL. There's probably racism uh, among some of the owners. You know, a bunch of old white dudes out there. I'm sure there's a bunch, there's racism still. Doing stuff like this doesn't help, and it's more crying wolf, like what we read with that Joe Rogan January sixth slavery Rwanda article that we read through all of this crime wolf is the reason that no one likes any of these people anymore. No one listens to them because you're constantly out here crime wolf every single day. I tell my week. son every day. No one likes a little whiny bitch. No, pick yourself up off the dirt. The real world's cruel out Ain't there. No one liked the whiny bitches, man. And they <laughs> never got that message. They didn't get the memo. We live in such an, like an entitled Crybaby society. Mm -hmm. I'm so sick of it. Oh, okay. We gotta go. I think that. Yeah, I think. I think you got what I'm feeling. Mm -hmm. I think you're picking up the what thing I'm stepping is, in. We have to actually solve what some of the problems are, and if there's hate in people's hearts, okay, you don't stop that hate by 
by first off making it an illegal or a crime for them to let it out. They need to let it out so they can out themselves in society. Mm -hmm. Telling people they can't say a word does not solve that problem because you holding back that word changes nothing about what you think. People are only talking about uh, uh, symptoms of problems right now so they can feel better in their lives mm -hmm. when they go around. And so that's what the first article with this one. None of this is actually going to help black coaches get hired. In fact, it's going to make it worse because now they're going to be scared if this guy even does a terrible job and I fire him, he might sue me. Right. And so now I'm just not going to hire any black coaches at all. So I don't have to be worried about firing. It's clearly, clearly the outcome that's going to come from this. That's right. That's it. You don't want to force people to hire anyone and you don't want to make them scared to hire anyone because of the color of the person's skin, which is what they're going to be doing now, which means these people are not actually solving the problem, which is why I'm so upset about it right now. 